Hi everyone. I had said that I was going to be sharing two uh, peacock and cow lily journals uh, this evening, but I'm not quite happy with the cover for the second one yet. So I'll go ahead and show this one. Um, this one is actually a custom order, so it's already sold, but I just wanted to follow through and uh, show the cover on this. So I used a few digital kits, um, two of them being from uh, Paulette Slater, who has a TLC, I think it's called TLC Creates on Zibit. Um, and I will put the links below for the kits that I did use. So it's got a, an embossed uh, raised cover with cow lilies and a triple uh, ribbon here to kind of echo the colors that are found within the book. So let's go ahead and get started. So on the inside cover, we have uh, an embossed pocket with some peacock feathers and a uh, three-dimensional adhesive sticker that has been secured down very well with some Fabri-Tac. Um, and there is a tag here with a gorgeous peacock. This is from uh, Paulette's kit, the peacock one. And she's got a gorgeous calla lily one as well. Um, and this is part of the calla lily kit. Um, there is another small little peacock tag there. So it just tucks here. Again, some of the pages uh, from the kit. And we have some beautiful specialty papers in here. Um, I believe the paper pad that these papers came from is from K and Company or KC and Company. Um, all double sided papers and very gorgeous. So we have an embossed uh, foiled uh, pocket here with another uh, piece of that journaling kit from Paulette's kit. Um, and I just a little bit of uh, trim on the side, a little little tie up there. And here we have some of that, um, the digital kit as well. And again, these are from her kit. Just beautiful image of calla lilies. And the reason I chose to integrate both of them is because I felt that both peacocks and calla lilies are very elegant um, products of nature and I just think they flow well together. They're showy but I don't know there's something about the way they flow even the shape of the cattle lily itself is kind of evocative of a peacock feather the way it plumes up. So and you see the back of this is um, well, I think you should be able to see it it's got a metallic sheen to it again from Paulette's kit. And here, um, this actually was a note card. Um, and it was funny because I had sent some of these to my bestie Dawn, uh, at the book vandal shop and I found one, but she sent me a package because she knew I was doing this with a few of these back. So I thought that was perfect. So I've, uh, use some in the other book too that I'm still working on the cover for that. So we just have a small journaling card that actually tucks back behind here. And again, some more images from that gorgeous kit that I was talking about. And here you can see the little fabric flip I did with the uh, Dollar Tree fan that I took apart. And we have a little tuck here with one of the cards from the kit. Just gorgeous, gorgeous images. Little mirrored tuck here, and just a simple little card here to uh, journal on. And then this is embossed uh, on this side of this paper too. You see the embossing came through. I just thought it all flowed well. Seemed very elegant to me. 
And here, this is um, actually from a different digital kit. Um, it's one I've had, um, it's vintage peacocks. Um, so I, I used a few pieces out of there as well. This again is from Paulette's kit. And just a simple, this is actually a plain Tim Holtz uh, tag that I did a peacock feather and embellished with a few little uh, gems. And just for writing, And I love, love, love this image here. This again is from Paulette's kit and I think it's beautiful, beautiful. And here, another one. This was actually part of a paper pad that I got and I, mm, I don't remember the paper pad. Well, if you've seen my paper pad collection, you know that I don't remember each single one and what the names were. But I just uh, fussy cut that and uh, sewed at the top and bottom to make a little tuck. And here's just a, an embossed uh, pocket envelope that I made. And I used a piece of coffee dyed paper that my friend Judy at Judy P's Crafty Journey had sent me some. So that all tucks back into there and hides behind the peacock. beautiful papers. Love that kit. So you see how it kind of, I don't know, it just kind of flows the colors. Peacocks are so beautiful in their their feathers. Um, so here's just a little piece of note paper and again we have the peacock image. Just did some embossing on that. Kind of carried it through on the back. Piece of parchment paper there and some specialty paper there, double-sided. Here we've got another piece from the digital kit. I did some embossing and it's got this gorgeous calla lily at the bottom and a tag here. Again, that one's from Paulette's kit too. So the majority of the digitals in here are all from her kits. Again, love that imagery and the colors kind of all flowed together. It went together really nicely with the paper pads that I had. So we've got another page in there for journaling. And that was just a little fun stenciling I did with some, uh, some of the gilded, I think it's called gilded ink from the, uh, one of Michael's, the hot buy paper pads. So I used that on the front and the back cover as well because the colors were perfect. And again, with beautiful page there. And that gorgeous, gorgeous cow lily. Ugh. I just think they're such beautiful flowers. I did not know until mm, probably three or four years ago that cow lilies are poisonous. So, but they've always been my very favorite flower. Um, just because I thought they were so elegant. So we've got another note card here this time. I just did a little rub on with some leaves, just a place to write. And again, here we've got a little pocket out of that paper pad that I had. That actually, um, I wanna say that one did come from Michael's too. So that was a hot buy as well. So just a little peacock tag there, peeking its head out over the top we can see the part of the peacock there. A little stamping here. Gorgeous kettle lilies again. And then just beautiful, gorgeous images. Paulette does an amazing job with her digital kits. There's, there's a few that I, I've really got my favorites. Um, Sherry Schmer is one and Paulette's I think are stunning as well. So here I just took a piece of that uh, gilded ink cardstock and did a just a regular journaling card. I fussy cut this cow lily out just to make a little tuck for one of the pieces from uh, Paulette's kit. And I like how it looked together. And here just a little different take on a trim on a page. 
with a little three-dimensional peacock feather sticker. And here, I just kind of did a, and this is all attached in here, but just a fun little place to hide some journaling cards there, as well as this beautiful tag here. Love her images. And this ribbon that I had found, um, I just really thought it went so well with all these papers as far as the colors, it just blended. So I had to use it. And this is just a little bit different of a flip out here that I took some of the digital pages and sewed them in like that, and then like that. And then here is a page out of a book that I really liked, uh, The Way It Aged, and had this uh, decorative trim along the bo bottom and the top. So. I just turned it into a journaling page with some uh, rub-ons there, and I like how that came out as well. And again with this, and I love the way this turned out. This was one of the, um, uh, one that I used the silver leaf on, and what I did was I, uh, topped a piece of cardstock with some of my gray, um, I think this is charcoal gray, it's a newer color, um, charcoal gray wax paper, and then I embossed it, um, and then did the silver leaf, and then just hit it in places with a little bit of the purple distress ink, and, and I love the way that came out as well. There's another peacock tag. This isn't a large journal by any means, but there's still a lot of places for writing. And here was just a, another one of the blank Tim Holtz cards that I did some stenciling. To me, that stencil looked like, I don't know, it reminded me of peacocks, so I thought I will use it there. Some gorgeous papers. Cool little tuck here out of that gilded ink. Um, paper pad. And look at that image. That is just lovely. Um, I mean, it, it had all the graphic colors in there. Um, just beautiful, beautiful kit. And so, so easy to use. So that is it. This is the one, like I said, that is already sold. Um, the other one, <laughs> hopefully knowing the way I'm fussy about stuff, I can get it to the color that I want because a lot of times the color that I envision is not necessarily what comes out of a single uh, acrylic paint. And there's Bella. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you. I have not opened this yet, but I've been wanting this paper pad for a very long time. And it is by Craft Consortium who has gorgeous paper pads. Um, this one was actually called uh, Herbarium, I think it's called. But I ordered it, I found it off of Etsy. And right here is the owner of the shop, uh, the name of her shop, One Day Long Ago. And it came wrapped beautifully like this. I wanted you to see that. Somebody must be walking their dog and she gets very jealous. So she gets walks too, but she still gets very jealous. So, anyway, I thought I'd do a quick flip through of this paper pad because I have been wanting it for so long. Um, packaged very well too. So again, this is by uh, Craft Consortium and Hackney & Company is the Hand Illustrated Designs. Oh, it's called The Emporium. Um, so you get 40 double-sided sheets, 200 uh, gram papers, uh, pearlescent papers, acid-free, and elegant effects. So my thought is to make a type of, um, oh, an entomology and herbology or fauna uh, type of grimoire, but you know, just all nature based because if you look at the images on here, they're all under specimen glasses. And I just, I, I loved that. 
So that's got that, uh, I think this is called like a UV effect. It's got the gloss to it. And the backs are just as gorgeous as the fronts. Yes, it was a dog being walked. <laughs> um, and these flowers are absolutely stunning. So this is going to truly be a nice paper pad to work with. And um, I, I have another one that I've ordered too, but I have used Craft Consortium in the past and the quality of their paper, it's not too thick, not too stiff. It is a very nice weight for journaling with. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, look at that, that is just stunning, stunning paper. I absolutely love this. Oh, and all the ferns. I love ferns. They're, they're just graceful looking, I think. And the back here, beautiful, beautiful paper. Oh, this has a nice texture to it too. I like that. It's kind of linen-y feeling, I guess is a good way to say, but it's definitely texture. And here we go with more of the entomology or study of bugs. And she won't quit till they leave our, leave our street. Gorgeous moths. I just, I love the color of it too. I just think it's perfect for the kind of uh, journal that I want to make with it. So, oh, Bella, Bella, Bella. <laughs> I'm try to hurry so you don't have to listen to her incessantly. That's beautiful too. All of it is. I don't think I've seen a page in here that I haven't liked so far. Um, these are a type of eucalyptus. Um, I used to be in the florist industry. Actually, I was a floral designer with live flowers too, always fresh. Um, but I used to ask the shop owner what type of eucalyptus this was and she used to say it's euonymus and I said what I said that doesn't even sound real and I have no idea if that's correct or not but it's a type of eucalyptus and they're very graceful and they kind of drape oh wow look at the foil gorgeous that'd be gorgeous on an inside cover too beautiful pad and so this was the deluxe one and it's got, it says additional toppers. So this all comes out like this. Yeah, lots of, lots of cool journaling possibilities with this. Anyway, that is it for now. Um, I will be having an unboxing of um, products from BB Craft. Uh, they actually contacted me and had me select some items that I would use and do tutorials with and uh, give my honest opinion of them. So I agreed to do that. So as soon as that gets here as well, I will share that too. But that is it for now. I just wanted to share this uh, latest journal that I finished and I'll be sending it off to the new owner soon. So everybody have a good night and I will talk to everyone later. Bye.